In this video, I'll be explaining how you can use client server desync to change your hitbox without leaving blocks. So first here, we have a simple setup with a hole in the wall and a trapdoor. And if you go inside the trapdoor and you move towards this hole while you jump, you change into standing position without leaving the trapdoor. And how this works is basically the server thinks you jump, uh, but the client thinks you go in the hole. So here, if I don't go in the hole, if I don't walk towards the hole, and I just jump. Uh, this is what the server thinks is happening. Um, and it puts me in standing position because it thinks I go up here. But the client goes in the hole, which stops my height. Uh, and I stay in, the, which makes me stay in the trapdoor while I change into standing position. Uh, and another way to cause a desync is with ladders. Uh, if you slowly go down a ladder, or if you just go down a ladder like this, it will cause a small uh, client server desync. So if you're inside a block here, and you go down the ladder. You can see I'm in crawl, but the top of my hitbox is in, still in the block, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, next, we have walking up blocks. So here, um, you can see uh, I'm falling and I'm walking up the block. Uh, I won't uh, go into detail explaining how this works. Uh, I'll put a video in the description that explains it. Um, but basically, um, your server side is down here, the tick that the stepping up happens, but the client is up here. And so you can use that if you close a gate on you, like this, to get in crawl inside the gate. And you can also use setups like this, where you have three blocks of air, uh, with anything from a carpet to a daylight sensor and a block here, to do the same stepping motion. And so if you have a gate here, you can do the same thing. And of course, if you have uh, like a cauldron or a composter or something, you can uh, just stand in the bottom and do the same thing with the top. Uh, the thing about um, so that stepping up thing is uh, that doesn't work for a setup like this, um, where you'd want to do the same thing from this block to that block. Uh, is you need this block here below it to do the stepping up motion. So if you, do, if you don't have a block like that, uh, it won't work. So for something like this, and the trapdoor is just for alignment, uh, you need to use uh, a different method, which uh, would be freezing the game using uh, the taskbar. So when you right-click the taskbar, it freezes the client, but the server keeps running, so uh, you can basically do the same thing, but uh, with a setup like this where you don't have a block. So if you walk forward and quickly freeze the game, as you can see, I get in crawl still in the gate like this. And this is a pretty precise trick with this setup. Um, uh, which is why I use the trapdoor here. So it's pretty hard, but it is possible. And finally, over here, what this basically does is if I stand uh, here in the gate uh, and I press this button, it will open the trapdoor after a little bit and then close it. And so using a block below us changing states, we can actually glitch in two blocks above us using client server desync. Uh, so if I stand here and I press the button and then I uh, freeze my game and then go back, you can see I am now inside the block above me. And this isn't very useful since if you're in crawl in like a, a gate or something, you can just do the reload glitch to get inside blocks. Uh, but it is interesting that this works too, uh, though it's not very useful. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching, and see ya.